10 Reasons Every Entrepreneur Should Have a Mentor. So as entrepreneurs, we are can-do self-reliant people. We feel capable of doing what needs to be done. So many times we just try to go it alone. It's the simplest path, it's the easiest path, it's the clearest path. We have an idea, we have something that we want to execute, and we have our methodology for how we want to get there. So we feel as though, why not just set out alone, take care of it, and we can bring in people into the fold as we need, if we need down the road. And I have to tell you that, you know, that's the path that I followed, and I regret it. Because I believe that the single biggest mistake that I've made in my career as an entrepreneur is not seeking out a mentor. Someone who could help me go through the entrepreneurial journey and do it with less loneliness, less frustration, less anxiety, and someone who could help me reach success faster. Because the thing of it is, if we're looking at somebody who's already been successful in what it is that we're trying to do, they already have been through the process they know what it looks like. They know all of the pitfalls. They know all of the shortcuts. And they're also a voice of reason and a voice of calm sometimes when we're in the middle of the storm. And so having that sort of asset, that resource, that person that's there for you, whether it's a mentor that we are able to get because we have a connection with somebody and they just want to help us out of the goodness of their heart, or even if it's someone that we're paying, even if it's someone that is an expert that maybe has a coaching program or they have a, a mastermind group or something like that and we have to buy in to get into it, actually that doesn't matter. The most important thing is that there's congruency between the mentor and what it is that we're trying to do. We wanna find someone who's been successful in what it is that we're doing and be able to shadow them, be able to learn from them, be able to have them reflect our ideas back to us in a way that we can execute them and be successful with it. Because when we have somebody that we can share our ideas and thoughts with, and they've already been there, it's going to be very easy for them to be able to tell us whether or not those things make sense, whether there's maybe a better way to do things, a different way to do things. They have a frame of reference that's expanded beyond our own because they've already been through that process. And we already know that experience is the best teacher. So the more we do things, the more that we're engaged in something, the more we learn about it. There's a reason that people that are experts at something are people that have been doing it for a lot of years because they've gotten to a point where they've literally seen everything. So they've understood, they've been able to react to it, and they've been able to analyze and adapt so they know all of the best ways to handle the various problems. And in addition to that, they have a skill set, they have a toolkit they've developed to troubleshoot and problem solve in and of itself. So even when we encounter something that maybe they never saw before, they're going to have a, a process or a methodology or a way to approach that, a perspective that will help us figure out the best way to get through it in the, in the greatest possible fashion. So when I look back at my colleagues, when I look at people that I've known throughout the years, and I look at the various people that I saw when they were just starting their entrepreneurial journeys. Some people were in various different stages. What I can tell you is, in general, as a correlation, so for people who took the same entrepreneurial journey, there's a pretty clear correlation that for the most part, those who sought out and had a mentor ultimately achieved at a higher level and they did it faster. Which isn't to take anything away from anyone who does it individually or on a solo basis, but the idea that we don't need help or the idea that our ego might get in the way or that we're too busy to go out and get the help are not valid reasons to avoid getting a mentor because the fact is those are all things that will hold us back. So let's talk about 10 reasons, specific reasons, why every entrepreneur should find a mentor and why this is so important because I really believe that it's a major turning point for a lot of people. The first benefit or the first reason is just for guidance and experience. If we're talking to somebody, I don't care what the skill is that we want to develop. You know, if we want to build a house, you want to talk to someone who's built a bunch of houses. They're going to know how to pour the foundation. They're going to know how to, you know, what lumber to get. They're going to know how to wire the electricity. They're going to know how to do all these things that we have to learn the first time out of the gate 
We're going to make mistakes, there's no doubt about it. And we're gonna to have to go back and redo it. So it's gonna cost us time, it's gonna cost us money and resources. When we have someone who's experienced in doing it, and in business building, it's an even more complex process, the fact is they're gonna know all those shortcuts. They're gonna know how to guide us in the right way so we can get the most out of what we're trying to do. They also provide valuable insights and advice based on their own experiences and likely experiences that they've also learned from other people. Because again, very few of those people probably went through the journey alone. And even if they did, once they got to where they were going, they probably connected with a lot of other people. And so you're not only tapping into their personal experience, you're tapping into all of their experiences and all of their expert network experiences. Because anything that they've ever been involved in or made aware of is now part of their consciousness, now part of their toolkit that they can share with us. That's very, very powerful. That's worth a tremendous amount. People pay a lot of money to get that kind of advice from, from experts. And so if we have the ability to get that from a mentor in the business world, it's certainly, certainly worth its weight in gold. The second benefit is just plain and simple networking opportunities. You know, another big thing that's very important is the mentor has a particular role because it's somebody who's generally more senior than we are, who's been through what we've, what we've already been through, and can share shortcuts, tips, you know, pitfalls, all that other stuff about what we're going through and advice. Whereas networking opportunities, we may now start to connect with other people that maybe are our peers. Maybe they're at our level, or maybe they're functional experts in various different things about business. So they may not be in a mentor capacity for us, but maybe just a peer group capacity. So now we get to connect with other people that are going through what we're going through in real time. So that's yet another valuable perspective we can gain. There's possible synergies there. There are things that we could do to partner. There are ways that we can help each other. So expanding our network is always a really valuable thing. And when you have a mentor, particularly somebody with credibility and respect in our industry, it becomes a lot easier to expand our network because we have that credibility by association. And so that person themselves can introduce us to other entrepreneurs and potential clients, partners and investors, but also just by knowing them and having that connection, we have the ability to potentially connect with other people and build out our own network for that reason. A third thing is accountability. You know, this is another reason. As entrepreneurs, you know, we're hard on ourselves and in general, we tend to hold ourselves accountable, but we are sort of our own boss and our own employee. So the challenge is, are we really being fair with ourselves for good or worse, you know, for, for good or bad? Are, are we being honest with ourselves? We have to have that accountability and know that we're being, you know, expected to continue to execute on the things we said we were going to do. So regular check-ins with a mentor can help us feel focused, stay focused and accountable because nothing creates accountability and action and focus like a deadline. I mean, let's be honest, you know, back in college, you're studying for your final exams and you don't really do a lot. As soon as you know the exam is 24 hours away, all of a sudden you become really focused. You're able to study for hours at a time and cram through all the things you need to cram through to be able to go in and do the test because there's a deadline. And business works the same way. Nobody likes deadlines because they make us feel uncomfortable. They create anxiety. At the same time, deadlines are really valuable because they can create positive stress that keeps us on track, keeps us focused, keeps us moving, and make sure that we do what we're supposed to do. And we have someone, another person we answer to in the form of a mentor. The last thing we want to do is let them down. We want to make sure that we you know, knock it out of the park because we want them to feel good about us and we want them to want to continue to help us. And if we aren't doing our part, if we aren't you know, living up to our end of the bargain, what's their incentive to do the same? If we're paying somebody, obviously, then we're not going to even getting our money's worth if we're not doing our part. The fourth reason is for skills development. Mentors can very easily and quickly identify our weaknesses, areas that we need to improve, and skills sets that we need to develop that maybe we don't have. You know, it's very easy to look at somebody else and analyze them from the outside, just in general. No matter how good we are, no matter how analytical we are, or how self-critical we are, 
and self-aware, it's very valuable to have somebody else's perspective because within the context of the business world and the entrepreneurship journey, a mentor is going to be able to look at our skill set holistically and say, these are the three functional areas. These are the things that I think are your blind spots or your weaknesses or areas that you either want to develop or maybe you just want to bring in someone who's an expert in that area to take care of it. But at least you're aware of it. You don't have these gaping holes in your capability where you're going to struggle at some point because you don't have any way to overcome that and you didn't ever recognize it or saw that it was there. This person is going to help us point that out. They're going to help us identify it. And they can even give us advice as to whether or not it's something, hey, should we invest our own time in to try to develop this skill? Or is this something better just to be, you know, let's bring in another team member. Let's outsource this. Let's get somebody else who could do this for us. So that way we can focus on the things that we do best. And all of those answers and, and advice and tips can be gleaned from a mentor who can put us in the right direction for all of that kind of stuff. The fifth reason, and this is not to be discounted, is emotional support. So we might think we're tough. We might think we're strong. Entrepreneurs generally tend to have an ego attached to what we do. We feel like we can conquer anything and we, you know, we can overcome everything. But the fact of the matter is there will be days, there will be times, there will be periods in our business and in our lives where the chips are down, where things are hard, where it's a struggle, where we need to find that strength from within us to be able to keep getting up in the morning, keep going to work, keep trucking, and keep staying consistent to know that that's the only way we're going to get to where we're going. But to do that all on our own can be very lonely. It can be stressful. It can be isolating. When we have a mentor, when we have somebody else to pat us on the back and say, hey, listen, keep going. You know, you're going to do this. This is normal. This happens. People go through this. What you need to do is use this as a, as, a, as a tool to make you stronger. Use this as a tool to build up your resourcefulness, your resilience. So that way, when you come out of the other side of this, you're going to feel even more galvanized, even stronger, and even more capable of being able to handle anything that's thrown at you. But it can be very isolating because if we're an entrepreneur, and even if we have friends and family around, that, around us who love us, if they aren't doing exactly the same thing that we're doing, it's impossible for somebody else to understand exactly what the stress is, exactly what the emotional attachment is to what it is that we do. So to have somebody else in our sort of inner circle that has that can be very, very reassuring and helpful. So that emotional support piece is super important. And mentors can offer that encouragement. They can offer that support and they can help us make it through those tough times so we come out the other side better and stronger than we were before. The sixth reason that we want a mentor is for perspective. You know, as I mentioned from the onset, a mentor can offer a fresh perspective. So they can step back. They're not in the trenches the way we are. They're not living it day to day. They don't have the connection with the emotional stress or anxiety or or um, happiness or fear or joy or exhilaration or any of those other things because they aren't part and parcel to it the way that we are, right? They're a little bit step removed. So they're going to be able to look at it from an analytical perspective and they're going to be able to look at things and give us a sanity check on various things. They're going to be able to tell us, you know what, that idea that you're contemplating here, I think is really risky. It's probably not the right way to go. It doesn't really sound like that's something in your skill set or your strength or your passion. This over here seems like something that's very congruent with who you are, what you want to do, you know, what value you can offer to other people, and where you can really make an impact and a dent. And so they can help us sort of mentally think through these things and process them in a, in a really effective way because they can do it with that built-in perspective of what it takes to be successful in business. So they can give us perspective on business challenges, opportunities, whether or not it's a good opportunity or not, and help us see things we might miss. You know, again, not to of any fault of our own, some of it might be our blindness, some of it might be our just total immersion in what we're doing, and some of it might just be lack of experience and, and perspective. And so just by having that other perspective is really, really valuable thing. 
The seventh thing that a mentor can do is confidence building. And while most entrepreneurs start off without a lack of confidence, I mean, it's pretty gutsy to start a business. And so if we had zero confidence, I don't think most entrepreneurs would start it. But how strong that confidence is and how enduring it is, is up for, up for debate. For some people, it might be this burning passion that no matter what, the you know, world could be falling apart around them and they're like, nope, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm great at. This is what I was called here to do. And they might have that. Fantastic. Good for you. Congratulations. A lot of people don't. A lot of people, if they get you know, punched in the mouth enough you know, trying to build their business, they start to question it. They start to wonder, you know, uh, can I do this? Am I actually good at it? Or was this a dumb idea that I just have this impulse that then I acted on and now I regret it? So having a mentor, you know, can support and validate that as an entrepreneur. They can also, by the way, be honest with us if they don't think what we're doing is right or if they don't think we're heading down the right path. But for the most part, they can provide that additional confidence because they probably would have already advised us. And if they thought we weren't doing the right things, we would have probably already pulled the plug and went in another direction. So in general, they're going to be a really good confidence boost for an entrepreneur and let us know that, hey, you know, you got this. And that means a lot coming from someone who's been there and done that. You know, it, it's a very big confidence booster and it gives a lot of reassurance to somebody whose confidence might be wavering in the face of obstacles. So in our decisions and our direction, they can be a really, really powerful force there. An eighth thing that mentors can really help with is strategic thinking. It's another reason that we really want a mentor because they help us think strategically. A lot of times, you know, as Michael Gerber once said, as entrepreneurs, we work in our business instead of on our business. And what we want to be able to do is step back, look at it and do things strategically. The reality of it for most people is that they're doing so much in the business. They have very little time to step back. They figure, look, we've already pointed the ship in the right direction. I'm going below deck to row this baby. And hopefully we're going to head in the right directions and not crash on the rocks. But the fact is, you know, like an airplane taking off from its you know, origin, heading to its destination, it's off course about 90% of the time. It's constantly making readjustments. It doesn't fly in a straight line. And business works exactly the same way. Even if what we set out to do hasn't changed, the path to get there may have. There's technological advancements, there's economic issues, there's competitive factors, there's all kinds of things going on that make things, you know, make adaptation and change a necessity. And so by having a strong strategic foundation in what we're doing and the ability to revisit that and have a sanity check on that, somebody again with that you know, larger perspective can help guide us in making our longer term plans and our important decisions around those plans. A ninth thing that's not to be overlooked that's a benefit and a reason that we want a mentor is a lot of times they can get us access to resources. They can provide access to all kinds of different resources, whether it's knowledge, tools, sometimes even, you know, financing or connections with people with, that, are, that are in financing. And if they're going to vouch for us, that can go a long way. But at a minimum, they're going to know the shortcuts, the tools that work, the processes that work. They're going to help us be able to instill that stuff and install it in our business so we can be more effective without all the trial and error of trying 20, 30 different products to settle on the one that works for the things that we need. And so that's a really powerful benefit as well. And then the other reason or the 10th reason that we really want to have a mentor is for continuous learning. A mentor isn't somebody that we have as a figurehead that we talk to once every couple of months if you know, we need a check-in call. It's somebody that's with us along the journey. So regardless of how that manifests, whether they're physically next to us and working in our office or with us, whether we're doing daily calls or whether it's a weekly check-in or whatever it is, doesn't really matter. What matters is that it is ongoing, that it is organic, and that it is based on dynamically what's going on in our business at the time. And so because of that, we're going to always be able to share challenges get growing opportunities. We're going to be able to share opportunities. We're going to learn, you know, some additional things from that. So we're always going to be learning because 
as it goes, we're gonna not only get the tips and advice from our mentor, we're gonna see how they think. We're gonna see how they process things, what sort of paradigm they look at things through to create the results that they wanna create and to analyze, to come up with the answers. And that in and of itself is going to improve our own mindset and make us more capable of growth and more capable of higher achievement. And so it keeps entrepreneurs adaptable and innovative, which in today's day and age is absolutely essential. So these 10 benefits can help us as entrepreneurs be more successful and do it faster and easier than we can alone. And I hope that was compelling enough to convince you because that was really my goal here. It's a mistake I made and I don't want you to make the same one. So the takeaway here is it's not always easy to find a mentor, no doubt about it. And because we're so busy as entrepreneurs, we may not take the time or effort to seek one out, but the benefits are real, they're tangible, and they're one of the highest leverage things we can do because they can accelerate our success by years and make the journey along the way a lot less stressful, more fun, and more rewarding too.